All right, what's going on? It's Bobby Skinner, John Boy Media Football, doing a film breakdown on Senior Bowl Day 2 one-on-one. So I'm taking about 10 from each side, the American side and the national side, which I thought were the most consequential, and just going through them, showing who showed off, who had moves on defense, what the offensive linemen did well. And I thought the offensive line did real well. So make sure to like and subscribe, and let's get into it. First play, we got Wanya Morris, tackle out of Oklahoma versus uh, Edge, Derek Hall out of Auburn. Wanya Morris was someone who wasn't really on my radar coming in. He had a really solid week. Like, you can see the foot speed. He's got good technique. So, let's watch his feet, right? We go one, two, three. Like, good patient feet. Like, that big first step. Good proportion, shoulder width. Doesn't open his hips too early. When Hall goes outside, he's landing his hands on him. You see he's got good leverage. And then Hall wants to go to the spin move. Loses his footing, but Wanya Morris is already ready. See, he's not leaning. He's got his hands reloaded, ready to go. Just being being in good play in a good place. Now, Steve Avelli out of TCU. You're gonna see reps from him at guard and center here. He had an awesome week. So first, you're gonna see. Watch this right hand go out, right? Work an independent hand. So putting that right hand in the chest and then bringing the left hand in the hip. And then he's got his hands in good placement, good feet, feet moving. Works that hop step a little bit versus the bull. And then on Byron Young's side, kind of just too high of pad level, right? Like we're standing too high right here and not able to work anything, not able to get leverage. Next, Darnell Wright, the right tackle out of out of Tennessee versus Isaiah Land uh, out of FAMU. You're going to see Darnell Wright work a vertical set. I mean, he's a really solid player. You're actually going to see Will McDonald have some su success for him later on in this. But the feet, one, two, three. We got good proportion. Get those hands on him. Keep those feet wide. And you see the feet just move with him. Got hands on him. Stonewalled. He tries to get around the edge. We're here. Just watch it. We're just watch it in full speed. Just watch his feet. Always in control. Control the rep. Feet are never crossing over. Really good stuff. Now we got Nick Broker out of uh, Broker out of Ole Miss versus Jalen Redmond out of Oklahoma. Jalen's gonna win this rep. Just getting lateral. So Broker is setting towards him, right? Now watch this two-handed swipe, two-handed swipe, and then the feet get quickly lateral. This step just beats him quick with his quickness, fast, violent hands, bam, all in one motion. We're not swiping the hands and then going lateral, all in one motion. And just a dominant rep for Redmond. Next, this was a good matchup. Good versus good. John Michael Smith's the center out of Minnesota versus Zach Pickens, South Carolina. And you see just the quickness and strength of Pickens. And then Smith is able to recover a little bit. But good first step by Pickens. Goes to that rip. And he gets into the half-man relationship, which means he's you know the center's not able to... Smith isn't able to stay head up with him. And that opens his shoulders and rips through. And just keeps the feet driving. Now you see Smith's on the other end go to this hop step. And finish. But at the same time, you're finishing at 8 yards of depth. Right where a quarterback can set up. You know, if you're under center. Like, you see the hand strength. On Smith's end, you would want to... Take one more step. Get head up with him. I know you don't want to get beat inside. But getting into that half-man relationship, Pickens is able to get there. So very next rep, right? Very next rep. Smith wants to do that, but this is where Zach Pickens is so good. He can win in different ways. So now we're in that head-to-head -head relationship that Michael Smith wants to be. But Pickens works one step, two step, and then get lateral. And just beats him cleanly. 
So just good head games by Zach Pickens by changing up his approach. Like first, we just rip through that outside shoulder. Next play, Smith wants to correct that. He works laterally and has a clean, clean win. Tyler Steen out of Oklahoma versus Jalen Redmond out of, uh, or out of Alabama versus Jalen Redmond. Steen was a tackle at Alabama. He worked at guard, which is, I think, where he can succeed in the NFL level. I'm very intrigued by him. So you see the good footwork gets his hands on him. Good leverage, right? But Redmond works that bull. Now you see Steen go to that hop step. Both feet in the air. Bam. Re-anchors. You've got your, your feet in good placement. And Redmond does, does a good job of continuing to move his feet and get leverage. But Steen's able to keep those hands inside and then finish a rep. I like a little bit of the nastiness. Like, obviously, you don't want to get be some psycho in these one-on-one -on -one drills. But I really like that out of him. And now Steve Avelli out of TCU working at center versus DJ Dale, Alabama. I mean, this is just beautiful. This is just ass-kicking pass protection. Quick, see how quick Avelli is off the ball? Gets into that head-to-head -head relationship we were talking about with John Michael Smith. Hands are inside. And then it's hard to see with the traffic. But feet stay good. Keeps his feet moving. Hands on him. He wants to work back inside. We got grip. We're going to move our feet without crossing them over. Quick short steps. And finishes the rep. Osiris Torrance, the guard out of Florida versus Byron Young, Alabama. I think Torrance still has some stuff to work on, but you see the strength and the anchor that he has. Like he lets Byron get to that outside shoulder. And o Osiris' hands are late. Late and wide, right? See how they're... You don't want your hands right there. You want them inside. Inside and lower. But you just see, even with that, his anchor is so strong. And his hand grip is so strong that he's able to finish this rep. So it's not a perfect rep for Torrance, but some good recovery. And then the last two on the American side, we're going to go uh, Darnell Wright, Tennessee versus Will McDonald, Iowa, Iowa State. Very impressive stuff. So this isn't the worst rep for Darnell Wright, but it is good for McDonald. First, you see just the speed off the line of scrimmage. I mean, watch how quick he gets off. Bam! Hits him with that little stutter step. And that's going to freeze Darnell Wright for a second. Good job. You see how he takes that right hand and then with the left hand swipes Darnell Wright's hands off. And then you see him bend. Get low around this corner. And Darnell Wright ends up you know, getting around the ground trying to hold him. Like that's good bend by McDonald. Good get off. So next, very next play, Darnell Wright does not want to get beat around the edge. And just a sick spin move by McDonald. Again, quickness, attacks that outside shoulder like he's bending, right? That gets Darnell Wright's hips to open. And just quick, stab with the right hand, plant your right foot. Left foot, you got to track, and you are clean. Take that left hand and use it. Just clean stuff from McDonald's. Watch it just one more time in full speed. Bam. So really good stuff from both sides on the American team. All right, now for the national side. He's got a few Jalen Duncan plays in here. Cody Mock from North Dakota State. But we're going to start with Jalen Duncan versus DJ Johnson, the edge out of Oregon. With Duncan... The thing to watch is his foot, his feet, his foot speed. How cool, calm, collected he is within a rep. You just see how quick his feet are. Keeps great posture. Keeps his hips square at the line of scrimmage. Now he does give expose the chest, but he's got a solid anchor. And good ability to recover with his feet versus that bull. And then DJ Johnson wants to spin inside. Okay, I'm there. Like the rep done. Let's just watch it again at full speed. Just great foot speed, the mirror, and just control control a rep. Now, Cody Mock, uh, the North Dakota State offensive lineman versus Aditam, uh, Aditamiwa Adibara out of uh, Northwestern. Just a couple reps that we got a row in a row from these two guys. I'll let you watch them live and then 
get into it. So, Mock has played tackle at North Dakota State. Came in as a tight end. You guys have all heard the story. I think he can play really well at guard, but he does have to learn to play the guard position. You're going to see some of the issues here, right? So he sets at him. You see how his hands are coming wide? Like when you're inside, you got to punch inside that chest. And then uh, uh, Adi, Adi Bar Adibara stabs and then rips through. And Mokta has like good feet to recover, but see how he lets him get to this position and it's going to be a win or be a, a loss for you. And then the next play, you just got to set towards him. You can't open up a rep at guard like this. That's not what you want. I mean, unless you're doing, you know, a three-step drop from under center, you can't have that. You got to you got to get your feet and move them out here and get head up with him. And he just gives him this rush lane. Now again, you see Mock is good at working leverage and and staying in it, but then he gets head heavy and then gets spun out of Jake Andrews out of Troy, who I think really struggled versus Jared, uh, Gerard Clark out of Coastal Carolina. I mean, he just walks him back. Like, this is a really bad rep for Jake. And then Clark, you just see the strength. Like, it's not even... Solid get-off, good leverage, gets underneath him. That's what you want. You see the foot, he's just kind of overpowering him. Like, keep keep your leverage about you. Stay at this leverage. Instead, he rises up. And see that he works this hop step. But you kind of want to finish that rep better. Or break hands off of you. Or disengage. But he does sh he does show off the power that he has. Alright, back to Jalen Duncan versus Isaiah Foster. Which I think is the most fun matchup from the national squad. It's just kind of footwork versus power. I mean, just Duncan. Watch how quick these feet are. That's where you want to be. Now, Fosse goes to that one arm bench and does a good job. Fosse does a good job of keeping his feet about him, but does give up some of that power. And it's just kind of outside, hands are outside for Jalen Duncan, which exposes that chest and allows him to get to that. I think that's something that Duncan's going to have to work through. Is you know, guys are going to, if he, he's got quick feet, guys are going to try and go through him. Now this next rep. I love this footwork from, from Duncan. So watch this little shimmy that Foskey gives, right? This little right there. Now let's watch Jalen Duncan's right foot. It's that shimmy. He just keeps his, just Instead of getting to his kick step, just keeps his post foot right here. Keeps good proportion. Foskey going to try and go around the corner. And you see the hands come wide and outside from, from Duncan. But he's able to get the hands on him. Good feet. And able to finish a rep. But again, he does give up penetration once he, he takes on that bull. And that's something he's going to have to work through. Back to Cody Bonk out of North Dakota State versus Yaya Diaby out, out of Louisville. Here you just see the good foot speed by Mock. Diaby kind of comes in high and hands high too and gets that good extension. And you see Mock's not able to get his hands on him, but you just see the good f the feet. To just stay in front of him. Next we got... Uh, Olu Oluwatami out of Michigan versus Keanu Benton out of Wisconsin. I think this is a good versus good. Keanu Benton might be the best guy on this front for the national side. Now, Benton tries to go, get leverage and overpower him, right? And to Oluwatimi's, uh, neg on a negative note for him, he does stand up, allow him to his chest. You don't want that. But I like Olu when he sees this. Like, you're not going to be able to work leverage like that and have your head down versus me and have all of your weight over your knees. 
So Olu just dumps him. Dumps him and sits on him. Like that well, that's if you like if if you want to be a defense tackle and you want to fire off like that, you just go to that quickly. And it stops guys from doing that. It stops them, like makes them have to actually use their hands and use their balance instead of just trying to fire off into guys. And then the last one from the national side, we got again Jake Andrews first Gerard Clark out of Coastal Carolina. I like that Andrews is trying to set towards him and get hands on him. But you can't be all the way ahead of your skis like this. And good job for Clark, who's a bigger dude, to see that and just go to the, the swim on it. Also, a bad snap. Wait, was it a bad snap? Let's... Yeah, bad snap too. Jake Andrews is kind of outmatched down here at the Senior Bowl, but some good stuff for Gerard Clark. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. I want to get a day three one out to you. I'm working on getting that film, so appreciate you guys. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'm going to have full, just individual player breakdowns, not just from the Senior, not from the senior Bowl but from their college tape and maybe use some senior bull film too. So hope you guys liked it. Like and subscribe to the channel for more uh, draft content. Appreciate you guys.